Are you ready to break free from the chains of the past? Introducing Echoes of Eden, a transformational course by Sheila Renee Burns. Dive deep into your family history and uncover generational patterns that may be holding you back. Through faith-filled lessons and practical tools, Echoes of Eden empowers you to heal, grow, and leave a legacy of hope for the future generations. Don't wait to reclaim your story. Visit prayerpower.net today and take your first step towards freedom and healing. It's a miracle, baby! We keep having all these problems Telling on us all from everyday It's the same thing yeah. All these unsolved issues I guess it's official Here we go again The same boy And I'm telling you You and I You so goodbye I heard it cracking Things are changing you So how can I expect something new It's my whole thing Good morning everybody it's your girl miracle sins and you're listening to god sex and love your daily dose of inspiration the juice it is november the 27th 2024 and today the topic is authenticity happy wednesday it's happy wednesday everybody i hope you guys had a wonderful Whatever the last day I talked to (laughs) y'all, however many days between then, I hope y'all had a great, great day um, or series of days. Mine was just fine. Yes, mine was good overall. Man, it feels totally like a Friday. I know those of us that are in America, you know, we probably already have had, uh, today might be uh, a lot of people's Friday because obviously tomorrow's Thanksgiving, um, all that good stuff. Yesterday, I guess technically was my Friday um, because my oh my excuse me my thursday (laughs) because my um i ended up doing tasks that i usually would do on thursday at the church i did those yesterday so you know again i feel like it's friday right now even though i know it's just wednesday and this is very interesting very very interesting but i've been excited man i've been excited about the holiday season i hope that you guys are as well those that i guess are here in america i mean i guess if you're elsewhere um, this these days don't mean nothing to y'all, but <laughs> I still hope you guys are having great days and whatnot as well. But yeah, man, uh, a lot has been going on as always. You know, um, your girl is still dreaming almost every night. I've been doing my best again to keep documenting them and keep trying to do interpretations and all these different type of things where it's been very eye opening and stuff. I've still been taking the prophecy course. I think I told y'all about it last time I was here, but just in case I've been, um, you know, listening to the different prophecy courses from Kim Clements. So shout out to him and his organization and, and his family, right, for keeping his legacy going and thriving because it's, it's blessing little old me in today's time. So, yeah, man, it's got to be good for that. It's been an interesting journey, man. Um, a lot of good things going on. We had a little some little trials and tribulations try to come our way. Um, but I feel like the Lord had me interceding, you know what I'm saying? I hear praying, you know. Uh, look, getting on look, real wifely duties, okay? You know, it's so interesting. And this, be a, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout because content is coming, right? Um, in reference to your girl sharing more about not only just helping single people uh, or single women in particular, but, you know, even the marriage conversation as well. Um, I don't want to, like, miss out on this particular part or side of things too because I think people, they go so hard on... You know, um, telling women, for example, that, you know, it's the cooking and the cleaning and whatnot that makes you a wife. But what I've come to find is it's the interceding that makes you, you know what I mean? I feel like there's way more than just the domestic things um, to being a wife. But that's a whole nother conversation. All right. So anyway, um, authenticity. Why is your girl coming in talking about authenticity today? Um, I would say that the inspiration came from the dream that I had as well as just what I was receiving as I was looking up the different verses and whatnot that I came across this morning. And yeah, authenticity, man, that that was the main theme or the main thing that was standing out to me overall as I was going through my, I guess, process this morning. Um, 
And so I, here I am. Here I am to come and share it because I felt like it wasn't just for me. I felt like the Lord wanted me to share with you guys. Again, when I got ready to write down notes, it was 9-11. So again, it might be one of them 9 conversations. Very important conversation to have, I guess, at this particular time and moment. So if you're listening to the sound of my voice, then I hope that you are encouraged and inspired by uh, I guess the words that the Lord shared through me. Um, if you listen to this later or watch this later, whenever I pray that it resonates with you and whenever the time that you watch or listen to it. But yeah, let's get into this conversation, y'all. Authenticity. All right. So let's talk about the definitions. Um, I looked up authentic because when I look up authenticity, it pretty much was like saying authentic. So I ended up writing down the definition for authentic and it said of and is uh, excuse me, of indisputed origin and genuine. So those are the definitions uh, or what it pretty much stood out as when I wrote down the word authentic. And so then I decided to go a little bit deeper. I was like, let me look into genuine as well. So when I looked into the definition of genuine, what stood out to me in that was saying truly what something is said to be. And then the other part was sincere. That stood out to me as well. Um, it also had authentic, so I didn't write that down again, but I mean, you know, um, so all of these things is pretty much saying to us, uh, you know, be undisputed, be of undisputed origin, be, de- be genuine, be truly what something is said to be and be sincere. Like that is what I'm receiving overall from this word authenticity. Um, and we may be wondering, what does this have to do with me, right? What does it have to do with you? What does it have to do with us as believers? And then maybe even unbelievers, you may be listening to this and being like, what does that got to do with anything? Um, well, I mean, I feel like it has a lot to do with everything, honestly, the more I look around the world and see what's going on. Um, and I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm just here, you know, a little, little humble messenger, you know what I'm saying? So don't come for me. I'm just telling you what the Bible say, okay? Um, but I mean, the more and more I study and the more and more I make observations about what is happening, it's just very, I think it's very clear that you can see that there's a lot of people, for example, proclaiming to be believers, uh, proclaiming that they are Christians, proclaiming that they believe in Jesus, all these different types of things, but their life don't reflect that at all. Right. And so are you very authentic? Right. Are you a true believer? You know, are you a true worshiper? Um, Do you believe in in live the way you say you believe and live? Um, A lot of us, the answer is no, unfortunately. You know what I mean? And I mean, hey, it it was no for me. Now, well, I don't know when, maybe some years ago. And again, I'm not trying to act like I'm perfect. I'm sure there's lots of things that I'm still again learning i'm still learning and growing every day again the cultivation period has not ended just because your girl is on a different page right now you know what i'm saying um so yeah i mean the answer can be no for quite a few of us or if not all you know um just based on again the way we choose to live and so um i guess i'm just here today to just remind us to be authentic right to be real um i feel it was very interesting because when I received that this morning, I, I, I had watched this King of the, the King of the Hill episode like last night, and I kind of chuckled at it, you know, and didn't think anything of it until the word authentic came back around this morning. I was like, huh, <laughs> confirmation. But anywho, basically there's this scene where um, Hank Hill is talking to his son, Bobby Hill, and they're talking about, I think, like the Alamo or something or whatever, and they was like, um you know um basically hank was saying to bobby like oh it's going to be authentic and then bobby was like oh yeah i keep it real and then um hank reiterated what he said authentic (laughs) and yeah something about that as well as what i was receiving this morning just really was standing out that you know it's not about again quote unquote keeping it real or faking the funk or whatever phrase that you could put there to say like again you know faking it till you make it and things like that it's about being again like these definitions say man an undisputed origin you know of undisputed origin and um truly what something is said to be like if you are a believer then you should truly be that um if you say you follow jesus you should truly be striving to do that with your life every single day um we're not going to be perfect, right? And we all have sinned and fallen short. So at the end of the day, that's why Jesus had to come and down the cross and rose again for that very reason. So we could just set all of that aside. What I've been taking in and receiving over the past few weeks or whatnot is that we could set this idea of sin aside. Because at the end of the day, 
like not i'm not saying okay let me let me be clear here okay it, it's real okay it's something we all have done right i'm not saying in that regard I'm, but i'm saying if you are an actual believer right then that is something that we can set aside and don't let that be a stumbling block in our way to feel like oh i'm not perfect x y and z no set that idea aside because at the end of the day you're never going to be perfect jesus is and that's why when <laughs> at the end of the day uh what i basically have received is that again jesus did what he did and that is what makes us perfect it's nothing that we did outside of i say and this is just my humble opinion okay um outside of choosing christ there's nothing that we can do to be perfect that's it we choose to follow him we choose to lay down our life lay down our idea and to truly follow and walk this life out in the way he did that's the only thing we can do like i know that we want to feel like we have you know that we did something or you know we're playing a bigger part or something like that um but i feel like all of that is just pointless you know just just it's more important right to to have a authentic relationship with christ right and, and truly be doing your best to walk in his way and live accordingly and treat people accordingly and all of that versus you know faking the funk acting like you're perfect trying to do it yourself and, and, and then ultimately you're laying Christ aside. So, anywho, let me give you guys some Bible. <laughs> I'm saying I got some comments this morning, so good morning, good morning. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get into these verses that are uh, standing out to me to share. So the first one was John 4 and 24. It says, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. So, yeah, again, we need to be worshiping God in spirit and truth, friends. It, you know, it's one thing to say something and then never live accordingly, never do it, never, you know, truly walk in, in the way of Christ. Um, and then it's another thing to strive, to try, to lay down your own idea and to, you know, really try your best to become more like Christ. So, um, again, worshiping in spirit and in truth. Um I'm sure there's more there. You know what I'm saying? You guys can all go deeper about that. Seek the Lord about what does this look like for me in my life, right? You can say, Lord, you know, hey, am I worshiping you in spirit and truth? If I'm not, how can I do that better? Or how can I do that at all, you know? So these are just things to think about. But let me give you guys the next verses because, yes, it's um, about three verses that I felt that to write down. Now, usually I would just put this in the go deeper section and let you guys read this on your own. Um, but I felt there to read it out loud today so here it is first corinthians 6 9 through 11 now i know you guys may be familiar with this but if you not here it is you know again no judgment i'm gonna tell y'all what's standing out to me the most but at the end of the day i feel like we all need to hear this okay so here it is again first corinthians 6 9 through 11 it says or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of god do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of God. So I know that could be a lot, you know, that could be heavy because some of that stuff is stuff that we all have probably experienced, done, um, things of that nature, right? And some of that stuff is like, I, I, again, I, I talked to y'all, what was it about a week or so ago about these homosexual pastors that are standing and, and boldly proclaiming, for example, that, you know, they, there's nothing wrong with what they got going on. And I couldn't help but think about them this morning as I was reading and writing down this verse because, I mean, it clearly says uh this it says who practice homosexuality so it's not even about the temptation of homosexuality i mean you can you know be be delivered and still be tempted like that's one thing but when you are living a lifestyle right when you are practicing these things it's a totally different thing you know according to the bible but anyway that's a whole nother conversation but what stood out to me the most here okay in this particular verse and that's just the things that is calling it out and saying you know, you're unrighteous and these are the things, these are the reasons why you're unrighteous. It wasn't that part. The part that stood out to me the most is this line right here. One, 
and such were some of you, okay? Like, and I, I had to take that too, you know what I mean? I had to look at the mirror and say, yep, that was me too, you know what I'm saying? I was those things, you know? Because, um, again, if you if you done one of the things, you're guilty of all the things. Can we put that on the table? Again, the verse says we have all sinned and fallen short. Do we understand that? Okay, so no judgment for me at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm just reading the Bible and what it has to say um, about those different things. And it's telling us that, again, if we are practicing these things, if we're being these things, if we're living a lifestyle of these things, then we, we will not inherit the kingdom of God. But it reminds us, right, for those that may have made it on the other side, right, that such was some of you. And so what helped us, right? Again, the verse here says, uh, we were washed. We were sanctified and we were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so it wasn't that miracle got all perfect and fixed myself or nothing like that. Yeah, I went through my journey. I called it the cultivation period, X, Y, and Z. The Lord was opening my, up my eyes, looking at me, had me look at myself in the mirror and say, hey, there's some stuff to work on. Okay, and yeah, I might have made some decisions and made some choices that got me to be where I am today. And I'm grateful for it, right? But at the end of the day, it's what Jesus did, right? That got, that made a way for me. <laughs> and, and even you, you know, and so these are the things that we got to think about. And so, again, uh, remembering that's let's stay humble, remind ourselves that, hey, what we see our brothers and sisters going through that, that we, too, have gone through in our own way. And then to understand that we didn't have anything to do with the salvation at the end of the day, like it was a gift from the Lord. Right. Um, and and that's ultimately it. Um you know, it's just that that's ultimately the juice for me this morning. Now, I mean, again, there was a lot of things that I um, was taking in this morning, like I said, through the dream, through interpreting, um, through the Bible verses that I came across this morning. And um, without going into all the, all those things, because, I mean, I don't know if that's all for you right now, maybe at another time. I don't know. But um, I felt led to just kind of focus on the overall message of what I received this morning and, and what was, I guess, relevant for me to share in reference to this conversation of authenticity. So, um, you know, I was trying to go deeper, narrow it down. And here's a statement that I feel like I guess is important to to share. And so I hope that you guys will let it marinate. You know, you'll listen to it. Um, I would type it all out and let you guys read it on your own as well. But. Here it is. Here's the overall statement about authenticity that I felt led to share. And it says, today the Lord is calling us to embrace authenticity in our walk with him. In a world full of distractions and counterfeit influences, it's time to reject anything that isn't aligned with God's truth. Step boldly into your purpose, remembering that true transformation comes through his spirit, not worldly approval. Authenticity is the key to living out your our true purpose or our true calling. So that's the juice this morning, y'all. I hope that you guys uh, have received it. I hope that it can be encouraging and inspiring to you. Um, Again, it's one thing to act like something and, and pretend and things like that. And it's a totally different thing to live something out and, and be authentic and real and genuine. And I believe, again, God is calling us to be the genuine on the genuine side and on the real side and on the authentic side versus the fake and, and things like that. And that's the juice, y'all. That's the juice. Now, the Bible verse of today is First Peter 4 and 8. And it says, and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. And if I don't, friends, I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving, um, and I'll talk to you guys whenever the Lord brings me back. But yeah, man, I've enjoyed, um, you know, talking to y'all today. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your families. If you guys are celebrating and enjoy the food, enjoy the family and enjoy the fellowship. Y'all have a great day. <laughs> Bye-bye.